What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beta, and I'm back with more Marvel Future Fight. Last time we started the Ant-Man special missions, and it seems MODOK has teamed up with Ultron and is shrinking the area. With pim particles that he stole or something. So now we're going to the Incredible Shrinking Man. Ultron's last minute intervention causes the ray to be triggered and everyone is now ant-sized. You must get to the office of Henry Pym, the one man who can reverse it, but it requires a dangerous trip across a Times Square that is now gigantic and populated with giant Ultrons. Also, the Sinister Six are here to help! We have Venom, Ak, and Goblin. Venom's mostly here as backup in case my team gets overwhelmed. I have Angela. There we go, let's start. <laughs> Wonderful, just perfect. How tall are we? An inch or so, at most. Tony, you've got to get us back to our normal size. <laughs> right, because I happen to have an enlarging ray hidden in my socks. You said you've seen these devices before in Pym's laboratory. That's right. You're thinking we need to get to Henry's laboratory? If anyone would know how to reverse this, it's the guy who invented it. Can't argue with that. Let's go. Why we can't fly over everything, beyond me. Oh, my throat still hurts from doing MODOK. The sad thing is, I think I'll have to do him later. I just gotta keep drinking till the pain goes away. Yeah. Sinister Six, assemble! Everything is so huge! No, it's the same size. We're the ones who have shrunk. Even the rats are the size of dinosaurs. That's not our biggest problem. There are Ultron bots wandering around. I'm reasonably sure they're looking for us. Why wouldn't they be? All they have to do is step on us and we're done for. And let's make sure that doesn't happen. Hello. Actually, this seems like a job for the goblin. Am I shooting lasers? Clearly not pumpkin bombs. I guess I am. That's kind of weird. Alright, so we have the hazard of giant Ultrons. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I go now? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Howdy! Pumpkin bomb! Alright, Ak, I think you've gotten, uh, you get to uh, do some attacking now. Well, on the plus side, I've got a place to go for farming uh, Ultrons now. And it, of course, makes sense that we would see Ultron here, after all. And Hank Pym did make the damn thing. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Die! <laughs> Hello! And spin! God, I like that move. That's a fun move. The one where he spins his, uh... <laughs> that one. Alright, Goblin, go up. It's good to be bad. What's next? We made it. Pim's laboratory is just ahead. You have made nothing. Almost is the same is not the same as actually being there. And with you so pitifully small and unable to defend yourselves, you'll find a great disparity in those words. Oh my god, he's huge. Well <laughs> Team! Help me kill him! <laughs> Got him! Would probably have been cooler if I finished him with Auk, but eh, oh well. You got the job done. 
I can't believe we survived. You just need confidence, Natasha. What I need is to not be the literal size of my namesake. Let's see if Pim can get us out of this situation. Hopefully he can. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck like this, and that's going to suck. Alright, that'll take us to mission number three. Good, I see Loki! <laughs> yes, fights Loki, can get Giant Man. Pim decides that only the Vision can get into AIM HQ and reverse the ray, since his biology uh, is rever... Okay. I got confused for a second. Alright, so, Pim decides that only the Vision can get into AIM HQ and reverse the ray, since his biology is impervious to Pim particles. The Vision was last seen in Central Park, and you, Ant-Man, Pim, and the Wasp head there. As if the situation isn't chaotic enough, Loki joins the fray! Cool, we can finally use our team. Alright, so, <laughs> you heard him. Let's get to work. Hank! Scott! Wasp! I forget your name. Actually, Wasp gets to go in the middle because she's the only one I've got mastery on. And I want her leadership ability. Alright, actually these guys shouldn't be a problem for these three, so let's go on! They're all actually under low. Actually, my team is over leveled for this. Good lord, what happened to you? Modoc and Ultron unleashed pin particles on us. The aim lab is filled with them. Can't go back in. We might wind up even smaller than we are. Let me think. Think fast. Okay, you need to get back into aim headquarters and reverse the process. You need someone who's invulnerable to the pin particles to do that for you. Great idea, Hank. One problem. No one is invulnerable. Yes, there is. You need someone who's non-biological. The pin particles won't affect synthetic life forms. We could use Jocasta. Or the Vision. He has far more combat experience. He'd be the better choice. According to my readings, he was last seen in Central Park. We need to get you over there. Another adventure across Times Square. I'm not really looking forward to that. That won't be necessary. I have people who can bring you over there. Ant-Man, the Wasp, and me. It's like I already knew the intentions of this uh, this mission already. It's like, cool, got all three. Let's roll! So now we get to... I, I showed off a video showing all three of these guys before. But now they're a little bit stronger. Why are we huge? Oh, there we go. Should we spread out try to find him? I think it's much better if we stick together. Don't sweat it, I'm sending out a broadcast to every ant in the area. I don't know what Scott Lang sounds like, just work with me on this. As soon as they find the vision, they'll tell us where he is. Is it my imagination or is the ground shaking? Good lord, what are those things? The frost giants. Just got way too exciting. Don't worry, the bigger they are, the harder... what? Too cliche? So it seems that you have a small problem. This isn't the time, Loki. Oh, but this is precisely the time, Iron Man. I've been keeping a close eye on you and nothing that happens to you slips past me. I brought these frost giants here. Yes, we would pretty much figured that out. And considering your size, there is nothing you can do to survive this confrontation. I beg to differ. If you have one giant, all you need is another. Nice timing, giant man. Still, there's just one of you. Janet. Okay, Janet Van Dyne. That's her name. Not necessarily. I brought an experimental device with me. A pin particle dis... Dis... Disseminator? What does it do? It'll increase you all to giant size, temporarily. It'll have to do. Sounds exciting. Alright, let's do this! I can't see anything. 
All right, so Wasp is our friendly neighborhood blaster. And this is going to be weird that I have two giant men. All right, Scott, you're up. Ah, the former Ant-Men unite for combat and glory. And booze! And Frost Giant ask you. Oh, there we go. Thank God. <laughs> Hi. I gotta say, I like that ability where he grows super small and just dives past all of them. It's pretty sweet. And we can see Ant-Man pretty much kicking ass over there and taking names. I just like watching them grow. It's pretty awesome. Alright, double Hank! Double vision! Loki, pleasure to see you. Please die. Preferably. <laughs> Double stomp. And she has a he has a team up with Janet. Okay, the other Hank is in my way. There we go. Way to go, team. We have one. Like a, it's like a Godzilla movie going on in here. Yay! I received a giant man biometric. Woo! Alright. We're shrinking back down. I told you it was it was temporary. Fair argument. Ugh. Alright, and Next time, we'll finish it off by apparently fighting both uh, Modok and Ultron and Yellow Jacket. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you all later. Asta.